Hello guys, welcome back. This is Andrea and today video is really important because I am going to close a topic, the flex topic. And in detail today I will talk about cloth, terrible cloth, closed cloth and then the glue particle nodes that uh, uh, allow to interact with the particles in a really interesting way. But let's start. <music> Okay, here we go. To show the cloth, I have chosen the curtain. I have already created it because I think that is uh, really trivial to create it at this stage. And uh, basically what you have to do is just to put a cloth particle body here, um, the node for show the mesh, the particle body mesh instance, uh, put the just a plan, uh, increase the subdivision width and depth and then uh, bake the particle body model by pushing this button and uh, and that's it it's everything that you have to do in order to create it and uh, by playing the scene you can see that here we have the cloth but uh, as you can uh, just imagine, in order to create the curtain, it's necessary that uh, the top particle stay in place and doesn't fall off like we saw. And uh, there is this uh, handy gizmo that allows to click the particles with the mouse uh, in this way, one by one, or uh, instead select the entire row once you select all the particles you can change the mass and as every other physics engine you can by changing the mass to zero the the object became static kinematic and as uh, uh, the other physics engine flex does it and we can still interact with the with the curtain and uh, we created it. Nothing more to add. The second thing that I want to show instead is uh, what if we want to add a terrible curtain? We want that if we pass through that curtain, it breaks, it tears. The first thing that I want to do in order to allow this effect is to pin the side particles by creating this kind of U and in this way if I try to go through the, the curtain it of course tear. The other thing to do in order to make the curtain tear is to tell that this is a, um, a tearable cloth and we can do it by, uh, by pressing this allow tearing right here and that's it and by playing we can see that now the the curtain starts to tear in this way in order to control when the the curtain should tear we have some possibility and here we have this parameter, tearing max extension. By changing this value, for example, to something like 1, uh, makes the, the curtain tear really easily and it tears by its weight. Instead, of course, increasing it to something like more than 4, it makes the curtain a bit more stronger and uh, it breaks uh, a bit later. Now, another thing that you have to know is that we can also control the performance of the tearing because here we have the physics particle world and these settings, tear max splits and tear max spring checks, basically, uh, since the tearing is executed on CPU and in flex we can have thousands and thousands of particles, what I did was to split the checking of each particles across the frames. And this can be controlled by tearing max springs checks. Uh, this means that 
for each frames the program will check uh, at max 200 springs and then the last thing to mention is the resolution of the cloth in fact as you saw before by tearing the the cloth you can see uh, the triangles for example here that uh, um, that is the topology of the mesh but in order to make it uh, a bit more detailed it's easy to increase the the splits that the mesh have and also the particles that interact uh, with the cloth and now this is it i want to show the glue the particle glue that is a special node that allow uh, to attach the particles to something to uh, a special node and uh, in order to show uh, this node uh, i have created i have attached the clock uh, to the character in this way why here I have put the particle body of the clock uh, under a node just a node uh, since uh, the player uh, will change the position over time when uh, him walks uh, I don't want that uh, all the particles uh, of the clocks uh, will change the position over time with the player because I want that the particles uh, also uh, stay dynamic and uh, but I want that uh, just part of these particles uh, are kinematic and go uh, with the character during the execution during the process and uh, by doing so I have implemented the particle glue. This node is really uh, handy when you have to create this kind of things because uh, allow to take a group of particle of a, a specific uh, particle body and change the position. Really simple. And in order to use it, what you have to do is to select the particle for example these ones that i have already selected and click this button uh, sorry this one add to glue by clicking add to glue and select the glue that uh, i want uh, to use and uh, clicking ok what the program does is to fill these parameters with the id of selected particles and the offset relative to the distance uh, of this particle uh, glue that is a special node and automatically will change the its position uh, thanks to the its parent but let's see how it looks and here is it we have a character uh, with a really long clock like this one of course you want to adjust now i have basically giant particles and the clock uh, got stretched a lot we are by to the end just follow me a little bit the the last thing that you have to see is the closet cloth that for example a balloon uh, and you can set the pressure also uh, of this balloon and create this kind uh, of object is really easy just add uh, a cloth again a particle body mesh instance and uh, add a closed mesh like i did increase the subdivisions and then just bake the particle body model and by playing you can see that uh, the the cloth is rigid because it as a pressure but i want to tell that you can interact with the pressure and in fact what i want to do now is to animate so the animation go from pressure zero to pressure five and then return back but let's see what uh, it does and here we have the squared balloon that inflates and deflates constantly and this is a really nice effect because in theory we could also uh, tear this balloon and by taking the tearing information we could also animate the inflation like if it was a real balloon and we are to the end 
with this video I'm closing the basic skills that you have to have in order to use Flex and uh, I want to say thanks because you followed me uh, until now and I received a lot of messages uh, that uh, told me thanks for what I'm doing but I say to you thanks for following me also I, I would like to see uh, some something that you do with flex for example I saw uh, a video on Twitter about a guy that uh, implemented a character that is partially kinematic uh, that uh, is made entirely by particles and has a, a really interesting features for example it changed its physical characteristics depending on its temperatures it's not only an interesting idea an interesting concept but also an interesting uh, technical implementation this guy was really clever so for this video is everything thank you and see you next week bye bye